Hey guys, Mark, I'm here to ask you to come to the real channel today. We're going to be talking about Mandalorian. I really forgot the opening. I saw it over the time. <laughs> Big fan guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's the Star Wars thing. The guy used to work for. The energy don't feel right in the video. But it's, it's up, it's up, it's up. But anyways, as we get to see it, uh, going to something, that's what the event is called. Uh, Pelimoto is running a regular scam with Jawas, and pretty much what they do is they scavenge the ship and they take away its parts, and they cheat guys to resell it, which is brilliant. And uh, one thing that also one uh, theorist did bring up, we can see the higher end cars that they have in there. Like the Boba Fett's new rule, I've seen in the book of Boba Fett, which is a great show and I do recommend watching. And if you haven't seen where uh, Grogu and Din Djarin are reunited, it does occur in uh, the book of Boba Fett. Also, a lot of other things do, do occur in the book of Boba Fett. He does obtain his new ship. And we do get to see a Grogu training, training with Luke, which John Favreau said was a two year period, which is absolutely absurd. We do get to do a force jump, and she asks, How the hell did I do that? This lady right here. Nice person. We get to see these words back in action. And she actually does sell them R5. Now, R5 did first appear in the, in actually, A New Hope movie. The chronological did first appear in the Phantom Menace in the background, but he never left Tatooine. He was the first droid told to Luke. And there was later a fat no, wait, a novelization that's kind of canon, kind of like didn't come out. But pretty much it was a force sensitive droid that blew out its own circuits. To ensure that R2 was able to give him his news about Obi Wan Kills. Which is pretty cool. And he ended up selling it to him and became an aftermath. Copy for the purpose. They checked the air toxicity of Mandalore. And we actually do get to hear the pressurized noise. It's actually uh, Darth Vader's. But he does it to reassure Grogu to ensure that R5 is safe. And it's a nice sound effect you get to hear. Hear it when the kid puts it on at the first episode of the season. Uh, something like that. Pressurizes it. Grogu gets in his pod. He jumps out. Yeah, he checks out the planet. And Mandalore does look beautiful, man. Like I said, what you Mandalore look like before Mandalore? Mandalore. It was a beautiful city. But inside uh, that show, it was crystallized and it was tantalized. This is a really well done piece of art right here. But yeah, those are the Mandalorian people. Yeah, it was a really well built city. And, funnily enough, the city they were running around in was the city where Ahsoka and Maul had their battle. The exact same place as this occurred. The exact same city. Now we go to see them explore the sewers. But you can see this interesting uh, beast that some say looks exactly like uh, General Grievous, but I say it looks like one of the Transformers, <laughs> the little Transformer that walked around, the uh, guy who hacked into the Pentagon and all that stuff. He looks a lot more like that, if I'm being honest with the construction. He looks freaking awesome. The head comes off too, just like that Transformer. And he goes to a bigger one. He traps in Jarn and traps, craps, what the fuck? Traps in Jarn inside of the night trap. Gets good. And we finally get to see the knowledge payoff that they has been teaching Grogu and uh, how he operates the ship and uses the force to find Bo Katan. And Bo Katan does that to help. One of the most beautiful parts. We get to see Bogaton use the dark saber. Right, the dark saber is crazy. Bogaton does use the dark saber. So let's see, Bow on dark. That's going to be up here. Wow. Oh. Yep, that's the word that he fights. Some say look like General Grievous. It does have that look of uh, half life, half uh, animatronic. This is the trap that he is in. Takes away the dark saber, and then boom! He has an, an electro staff that's like the droids that follow General Grievous around. People do theorize he is from that era. 
Combo's era. She picks up the Dark Saber. And watch this. She actually knows how to use it, too. The weight doesn't overpower, and we do still see Mandalore struggle to use it properly. When he fights the big, the big, uh, beastly animal. Boom. Boom. Watch this. Underbelly. She's just so fucking nice with it. Why didn't she challenge Ben for it? <laughs> Damn. Respect. 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 That was awesome. Oh yeah, and the trap is here too. And this is where she falls. So this is where he goes into the water, recites the creed that the kid, same creed that the kid recited. I mean, I should hear both of speak about her father before this. And then does commemorate him very well by saying that this is the way when she says he died for Mandalore. And she did recite the creep herself at one point in her life when he removes her helmet. And see, he sinks in the living waters of Mandalore. Okay, let's just back up. Well, there's a lot of biblical stuff in here, actually. This is really referring to the Exodus in the Bible. There was uh, a crystallized thing that she brought in armor. It was uh, Claiming that, you know what? Let's just go into let's go to symbolize. Pretty much, we're looking for this point of view. I think uh, Mandalo, Mando is uh, the most like figure to be on, and he is uh, reuniting and freeing his people, which is the Jewish people in the Bible, but over here is Mandalorian people reuniting them with the dark saber. This is the thing. He is the rule. He has. He is the rightful ruler of Mandalore, and he has just redeemed himself by going into the water. Music called the living waters, you know, it's the same thing, the holy water, but also there is a living. Okay, okay I'll, I'll let you make the shore. But she seized when saving Din Djarin. Yeah, that's the myth shore. So this does reveal the bigger story that uh, this guy's voice actor, funny enough, is talking about, John Favreau. But yeah, let me just show you how. Freaking awesome, it is, isn't it? Uh, so that's the sigil. That's what the beast looks like. It's pretty freaking awesome. Wow. Yeah, these things are pretty scary. That's not a mythosaur, but yeah, that's the mythosaur underwater. Imagine if, yeah, we're gonna see that soon. All that we're gonna see being drawn on the back of them, too. That's gonna be freaking awesome. Yeah, Mythosaurs are awesome. Yeah, it was a pretty solid episode. We just the beast, and when it ended, I thought, what the fuck? They're gonna do this map clip on there. So, when I watch that episode, I can tell, you know, this is a good episode, because it's at the end, I don't think it's a good story, like, it's a good story, it's a good story, it's a good story. Now, this story, there's so much more to it. This is how it goes to the beast, and that's not how it's gonna be huge. We saw a mythosaur in live action. That's gonna be huge, man. It's not a lot of people, it's gonna be a good so, uh, yeah, it's a good episode. We saw a lot of good combat in that We got to see Grogu coming to his own. He's very cool. Why? We got to focus on all the things that I So, I think it was very small of Twitter Raiders, uh, like, uh, 8 or 10, something like that, maybe. That was, I think, better. This episode did reveal a lot. So, I think this episode made this for the next. You know, we do a thing where episode 2 is a bit of a letdown. And I think the one before the finale is really supposed to be an emotional climax. And the last one is supposed to be just a huge climactic battle. But, yeah. We'll see where the show goes. Uh, let me know if your theories. One thing I regret not doing in the last video was talking about my theories for what is to come. I think we're going to see the Mythosaur. I think we're going to see the armor dispute. 
that Mandalore is healthy. And I think the best evidence that Din Djarin can bring into the store, but how the public is that would be ridiculous. So I think he needs to bring the Mandalore and build back to Mandalore. And I think they could try to rebuild it. Honestly. And that Christian, like this entire society is based on it in so many other comics. Not Star Wars, I don't know. Yeah, that's from the breakdown. Thank you guys for watching, viewing, and listening. Have a great day and peace.